So here, in a kneeling position, we're gonna lunge forward. We're going to bring the leg out to the side. We do that because we need the space for the hips to move. To keep in mind, we want the leg like this. We don't want the leg to come here. We want the back leg to be in line in the direction where you're gonna go, okay? We want to place both hands on the front knee and keep the arms extended. This will prevent the body from collapsing forward and shortening the muscle. Our leverage is to bring the hips to the side and our target is to bring the hips forward. We don't want to come out of the leverage first and go into the target, as always. We don't want to come here, come here, and then forward. We want to come here, as we're coming back, we go forward. Leverage, coming back, forward. So leverage is to go away from the targeting leg, and on the way to normal position, we go forward into more hip extension. The next physiological stretching technique is security. From a kneeling position, we're going to step forward. We're going to bring the leg out to the side a little bit. First, we're going to go forward with the hips, extending the hips, testing out target. From there, we're going to bring the hips to the side, come back, drop forward. To the side, come back, drop forward. Good. Switching sides. Other leg forward and out to the side. From here, leverage, hip to the side, come back, forward. Hip to the side, come back, forward, good. Switch inside, second attempt. And remembering to keep the body vertical, torso up, and not to allow the back leg to be pulled across the body or into the lateral rotation. So leverage, hip to the side, as it comes back, forward. Side, come back, forward, good. Twist and sides. Stepping forward, bring the leg out to the side a little bit. In this case, the left leg in front. Hips to the left as they come back, forward. Hips to the left, come back, forward. Good. To perform this ZST, bring your right leg out in front of you, bent at a 90 degree angle. Move your right leg out to the side. To give your hips a range to move in, make sure that your left foot is in a straight line with your left knee. Your leverage in this case will be to move your hips to the side, away from your rear leg. Target in this case will be to move your hips forward as you're coming back to the center line. Keep in mind that once you move into the target, you should stay in this range as you repeat the leverage movement to the side. Do not pull your hips back to the starting position. Your goal is to keep increasing your range to go as deep as possible in your hip extension, which is hips moving forward. Take the strap. Sit down on the floor. Wrap the strap around your foot. While holding the strap in your right hand, Lie down on the floor facing down. Now pull on the strap and turn your right leg out at the hip. With your right hand while holding the strap, put pressure on your thigh. Lift your leg slightly, press on your leg, and hold to the count of three. One, two, three and pull your leg up even higher with the help of the strap. Press on your leg and hold to the count of three. One, two, three. And pull your leg further up with the help of the strap. Press on your leg and hold to the count of three. One, two, three. And relax. And now let's do the same thing on the other side. Sit up and wrap the strap around your left foot. While holding the strap in your left hand, lie down on the floor facing down. Now pull on the strap and turn your left leg out at the hip. 
with your left hand while holding the strap, put pressure on your thigh. Lift your leg slightly, press on your leg, and hold to the count of three. One, two, three and pull your leg up even higher with the help of the strap. Press on your leg and hold to the count of three. One, two, three. And pull your leg further up with the help of the strap. Press on your leg and hold to the count of three. One, two, three. Excellent! Now pull back into the baby pose. Relax in the baby pose position for a few seconds. <laughs>